What is cell cycle? Let us define. A series of events in the growth and division of a cell, especially a eukaryotic cell, is called a cell cycle. Here we'll try to understand the events that occur in a cell cycle. The cell cycle is divided into two basic phases. And what are those? Interphase and M phase. During interphase, the cell prepares itself for the division. Can you guess what does this preparation mean? This means that a cell is engaged in growth and metabolic activities. This phase is further divided into three phases. G1 phase or gap 1, S phase, it is also known as synthesis phase, and G2 phase or gap 2 phase. Now let us look at these phases one by one. During G1 phase, the cell is metabolically active and grows in size. You see that? During S phase, the replication or the synthesis of DNA takes place. Now one thing should be clear to you. In this phase, that means in synthesis phase, only the amount of DNA doubles, but the number of chromosomes remains the same. Take note of this. This is very important. This S phase is followed by a G2 phase. During G2 phase, the protein synthesis occurs and the cell continues to grow. Let us now look at the M phase. M phase or it is also known as mitotic phase comprises four stages. Prophase, metaphase, anaphase and telophase. During these phases, chromosomes undergo many changes and finally the genetic material splits equally. And what happens after the nuclear division? That's right, division of cell cytoplasm. The division of cell cytoplasm is also known as cytokinesis. The result of the mitosis and the cytokinesis is the formation of two genetically identical cells, as you can see in the picture. Now these cells further enter the cell cycle and this causes an increase in the number of cells. There is an exceptional case as well. Some cells, like the heart cell, divide only occasionally. Hence, they don't enter the cycle. But they exit the G1 phase to enter an inactive phase called G0 phase. There you see it. Now in G0 phase, the cell is metabolically active, but it enters the cycle only when it is required.